Hello and welcome to the PMQ Pizza Kitchen. I'm your host Brian Hernandez. Today I'm joined by my good friend, Groupon US Pizza Team member, co-owner of Panino's Pizza and Via Pizzeria 123 in Chicago, Illinois, Mr. Gino Rago. Thank you so much for being here today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. Once again, I see a lot of stuff on the table. I'm, my mouth's watering. What do, what do you have on the menu for us today? I'm making a grandma pie, and it's a green pepper stuffed pizza pie with Italian sausage. And this sausage is a little different than the regular sausage. It's called barese sausage. Okay. It's made with pork and Angus beef with Ooh. parsley, a little garlic in there, salt and pepper. You know, a little bit different. I won second place at the United States pizza team uh, trials. Didn't you, you also got a competitor's choice on yes, that sir, too. Yes I got the competitor's choice award for this pie also. Well that's a great honor. Thank you. Thank Ever you very much. honored to have you come here and show us how to make this. Okay first of all I want to talk about this dough. This dough is made with a Via Pizzeria dough mix uh -huh. and I added some of our uh, Levito Madre which is our fresh mother yeast that dates back to the 1800s. Oh so it's a... Which I brought back from Naples and uh, found a way to, you know, I started playing around with it and recycling it. And this is what I use for our, our dough right now. Can they find this online anywhere if they want to get the sauce or the, or the dough mix? Yes, you can go online via pizzeria123.com. All right, perfect. Okay, so I'm just excited. Let's get into this. Uh, what's step number one? Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some garlic to this, fresh garlic. Okay, just a little bit. How thick do you have those cuts? I have them slivered, just a little sliver. Okay. Bring out a little flavor in the dough. Not too much, just a little bit. I'm gonna add some cheese. This is the Galbani Dragon Cut Shredded 2 and 3% mozzarella. This is what I wanna do. I wanna get caramelized the edge a little bit, so ah. I'm gonna pour the cheese right over to the edge. You'll see why later. <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm gonna assemble the green peppers, I'm gonna evenly distribute them on the pizza four by four. Okay. okay. So. And how are these prepared? These are roasted in the oven for about 15 minutes. They look like just kind of thick, just kind of rings? Yeah, I cut them into like three quarter inch pieces. I'm gonna add the sausage. That's kind of got a red tint to it. Is there any other preparation in that? I put a little bit of the Via Pizzeria tomato sauce in there when I cooked it. Uh -huh with some green pepper and, and a little bit of onion in the sausage. So I'm going to add the tomato sauce, the chunky tomato sauce on there. Okay. okay. Just a dab? Yeah, just a little bit in each one. Okay, so it gets even better. A little bit of cheese. What kind of cheese? This is a blend of Pecorino Romano and Parmigiano. And then I'm gonna put a little bit I'm gonna More put a little cheese. bit, of, just a little bit on there. Oh, okay, just a... Yeah, just a little bit on there, you know? See? So we're gonna cook this now? Yes, sir, we're gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, how hot's our oven today? About 475, 500. All right, so 475, 500 degrees for 20 minutes. Yes, sir. And let's get to it, I can't wait anymore. Let's, okay. Let's put it in there. Okay. Beautiful square pizza. Feel how heavy this sucker is. Fills a whole pan. Oh, heavy this. You get two of these, you can do some really good reps at your house. Yeah. Um, Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna take this out. There we go. Beautiful. We've got some caramelized cheese on the edges there. We're not done though yet. Oh, you're always making me wait, you know. Just gonna put a little bit of this gorgonzola fondue on there. Okay. Last thing I'm gonna add is some fresh cut parsley. A little color. I don't want to use basil. I want to just use fresh parsley. You think basil gets overused? Uh, a little bit. Because there's parsley in the sausage, I decided to put fresh parsley on top. So even that sausage is actually complementing all the other flavors. It's it's adding the green pepper flavor and then also some parsley. My well. does that look good or what? My huh? All right. So. As you can see right here now, the, the gorgonzola is melting nicely on there. So do you let this sit, just kind of let it get melted, or by the time no, it's no, the table? No, no, just by the time I cut it, and by the time uh, people start grabbing at it, it uh, it's ready. It's ready to go. That's right. All right, so we said uh, pepper per slice, right? That's right. right 16 so slices. Chop her up. All righty. So I guess the next thing is to uh, taste it and see the fruits of your labor. 
That is a beautiful slice right there. The crust, very airy, light. It's, it's relatively thick, but it's not dense. Correct. It's very light. It's like a focaccia dough. Very okay. light. And it's got very the light. beautiful colors, and then your customers are just going to smell this coming out of your pizza, and they're going to look at that and say, I want what she's having. So, so can I? Go ahead. Okay. Bon appetit. I really like how you just put the sauce on the top. I, I think you're right. If you put it on the whole thing, it would overpower it. But it's it's like a stuffed pepper on a pizza. The sausage is very mild. You can get that hint of Angus beef in there. I think that was a genius idea just to kind of tone down the flavor. And then the pepper just holding it all together. Genius. I, I said it before, but it's genius. Thank you very much. And the flavors, they all complement each other so well. They're being reinforced in, by several different ingredients. So. Thank you guys so much for joining us here in the PMQ Pizza Kitchen. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez. I've been joined by my really good friend, Mr. Gino Rago, Groupon US Pizza team member, co-owner of Canino's Pizza and Via Pizzeria 123 in Chicago, Illinois. Go check it out if you're in the, in the area. And until then, what do we see here? Arrivederci. That works too. Arrivederci. Keep them ovens lit. There he goes.